Absolutely worst, but an amazing, fun, fucking whacked out time of worst that could ever fucking be. Yeah. And it's Valentine's Day week, so we decided we should do Love on a Leash. Yeah. This movie is straight up fucking whacked the fuck out, dude. I mean, craziness. Since we're feeling the love. I'm feeling <laughs> something, dude. I'm feeling I'm feeling exhausted. After watching that hour and a half of wow. a fucking movie, dude, I am fucking mentally exhausted. And it just makes me feel like what? I mean, that? it has fucking flavors of the room and flavors of birdemic, and it's all fucking awful, and it's all wonderful. And flavors of a urinal cake all flowed together. Yeah, so I guess <laughs> this one broke us. Yeah. I think it, it, it kind of worked on us a little bit, you know? I feel like a heavy bag in this movie just beating my ribs. And this was floating around in my fucking file <laughs> on my computer for quite some time. And I was like, it's Valentine's Day. Let's do a movie about love or whatever. I had one movie that had love in the title. I'm like, it's this. And this ended up being this. Right. But anyway, it starts off with these opening credits with a dog... Being a dog. Oh yeah, and I should mention, they're fucking dead silent. I, with, uh, yeah, I, that kind of, while it worried me for a second, because I was like, oh man, there's no sound, you know. But, yeah, but we no. do get some fucking sound when this dog starts talking about girls. Where is everybody? Where are the ladies at? Oh, no girls, no fun, man. No girls, no fun. So, so he's, he's all right girls, around. Girls, girls, girls. Girls, where are you? Girls, where are you? So yeah, I thought he was going to bust that with like a fucking beastie yeah. face. Yeah. You know? But then he finds this chick girls, and he's all da, fucking da, da, hot da, over da, her. Da, 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 da. Oh, here is one. She is hot. Hey, watch me. Ugh, that's messed up. It's because I'm a dog, isn't it? Oh, look. I really am a dog. But then, you know, she has a boyfriend and they're throwing a frisbee or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I was better looking than you. Oh, I can't stand this. I gotta find a way to change. And then he gets petted. Pet? Yes. By this dude and says this. Alright. Hey, lay off, man. I'm not gay. No, dude, I am not fucking alright. Pet -ted. So I guess, you know, male dogs don't like getting petted by dudes because that makes them gay. <laughs> That's always the very beginning. Dude, this is like 30, 30 seconds into this movie. We're already starting to see peakings. Peakings? Peaks of its fucking craziness. <laughs> Red light, stop. Green light, go. Go, go, go. Fucking hell, dude. So, is, is, that, is that scientific? <laughs> I'll just say this. Don't We're in dog. one hell of an... In the floor of fucking one hell of an epic <laughs> ride of a review here. Because I'll say, I have one full page of notes on the first 13 minutes of this movie. It's the fucking... Yeah, I just never mind. I was gonna keep fucking going, yeah, no, right? Please, go. It'll be forever. So anyway, about the, the dog is running around and goes and yells at a pond. You're laughing at me, water pond? How dare you? If you're smarter than me, then tell me how to change. See, you don't know either. That happens. Stop looking at me, pond. And then the pond starts to sparkle with Orbeez. <laughs> And then fucking, you know... Remember his Orbeez. He's talking about the drink. Uh, right, right. Yeah, not like those fucking no, things. But they looked like Orbeez, yeah. and that's what made it there. Or Orbits. Was Orbit. it Orbits? Was it Orbits? I think it might have been Orbits. Yeah. The drink. That's okay. Tim Curry was not in Dwarf. Yeah, I know. It was Tim Conway. <laughs> Oh, shit. But anyway... Ignore our alternative facts. <laughs> <laughs> and, but anyway, the Orbit's fucking goddamn pod tells him he needs to fucking change. Find a girl. Girl? 
if she only loves you, you may have a chance. Find a girl? That's my specialty. Whole time watching this, we were calling Orbeez and how, sw how easy we, we switch because we think we're wrong. Somebody's been like, no, dude, it was Orbeez. You guys are stupid. Well, I already put a picture up there of the drink, so, I know, so it's like, we way, don't know right now. Either way, that was right. We were, we were just... <laughs> yeah, we might be right now. We might be wrong we, now. We might have been right. I don't fucking know. I know. We're just at that, we're just that, that stupid generation, the older generation is still like, hasn't quite figured out that you have a thing there that can figure out everything for you. So whenever dog's looking at more girls. Ooh, here's a lot of girls. Oh! I'm a dog now. Mmm. I gotta figure out something. And then... <laughs> so anyway, these two friends, Lisa and Paula, they're hanging out in the park and, you know, Paula's in her bikini or whatever. <laughs> they talk about guys. Oh, Lisa. Check out those guys over there. They're hot. I'm gonna go talk to them. No, not while I'm here. Oh, come on. Lisa, you know guys are no good, but they're good for a little fun. Crazy. Dude, my, my brain, dude, my brain is more fucked up now than it was on cough syrup for goddamn whatever movie that. What movie was that? It doesn't fucking matter. So anyway, we find out now that Lisa, which you'll hear a million fucking times, the name goddamn Lisa. They say Lisa more than the goddamn room says Lisa. But anyway, Lisa's a fucking virgin. Lisa, what are you waiting for? Virginity is so yesterday. Bingo! If I can't find a real man, I would rather die a virgin. And then the goddamn dog reacts to that. She is the one. Oh, honey, look around you. There are no real men. Nothing but freaks, geeks, and players. Maybe, but I believe there's one for me. And obviously it's all in his mind because, you know, people can't hear him. He can't oh, right. actually talk to he, people. The Garfield effect. So, the dog wants Lisa. Well, Paula goes over and pets the fucking dog. Oh, hey! Hey, you! She is sexy! Hey. hey, boy! Check out the last virgin in America. Hey, baby, what you doing? Ooh. Oh, too bad. And Lisa prays to God for a man. God, please help me find a real man. You don't need a God. I'm right here. What? Are you dogging me, too? What do you know about this dog? I will not let a chick get away. She's like, give me a man who wants me in my small chin. <laughs> I wasn't going to bring up the fact that she looks like goddamn Gollum, but she looks like goddamn Gollum. Oh, and right. Reese Witherspoon had a love child and produced Lisa. Lisa, Lisa. Gollum, Gollum. Gollum, Gollum. Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. Gollum. <laughs> so anyway, this movie has the most, some of the most fucked up editing I've ever seen because it just fucking straight jump cuts to the dog rolling around in mud. I know how to get a chick. They're suckers for the helpless act. To look homeless to get Lisa, which is in green, driving a green V-dub, but we'll get into more of that in a fucking little bit. Anyway, she lets him in her fucking car, that filthy-ass fucking dog in the fucking car. Right, she's like, come on in. I'm like, you know what it is, dog? So they're driving, and we get some singing. I'm a dog driving in a car. I'm going to her house. We're gonna go far. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lots of dogs singing in this movie. Yeah. Strange. Right. So anyway, they go into Lisa. Yeah. You get what you deserve. <laughs> uh, Reginald, or whatever this goddamn dog's name is. Well, he doesn't have a name yet. <laughs> it doesn't matter because she <laughs> takes him in. Like, was she. she, 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 she. <laughs> this movie broke me too. No, you're, you're talking about like the conversation we get to yet. Because we're still in like the first fucking five minutes of this goddamn movie. It so, like 20. She, she, yes, it fucking does. So, but a good 20. So <laughs> she takes him into her fucking shower and showers him and he comes. Ooh. Oh. Oh. You're clean, now you can go. I will be back, be back. 
That's what it fucking sounds like, dude. You can't confirm that. So we cut to Lisa at work Red Rocket, in this buddy. fucking clothing store, and this lady's trying to buy a dress that's too small for her. Ma'am, I told you the dress was too small for you. Yeah, no, no, it's because no. I'm sweaty. You see? It's perfect. <laughs> so Lisa won't sell her said dress. Miss, I'm sorry. This dress is too tight for you. I can't sell that to you. Yeah, so and she, she fucking freaks out. We'll hear some of that. What? Manager! May I help you? She doesn't want to sell me this dress. Well, how can that be? That dress looks stunning on you. Here, uh, let me help you. Thank you. And uh, what great taste you have, too. So we <laughs> cut to fucking Lisa coming home from her day at work to find the dog wounded, you know, with some red smudge on its paw. Right. I cut myself shaving. Shh. It worked. Oh, it's not easy to be a homeless dog, is it? If I do own a home in okay. Switzerland. There we go. All right, come on. Gotta go, I'm busy. You gotta go. Come on. Uh, hello? I'm not leaving. How? What, was it wounded? I think he faked it. Oh. So anyway, blah, blah, fucking blah. Lisa has this conversation with the dog about wanting to name it. We gotta give you a name. I already have a name. How about we call you Rover? I already have a name. But he has a fucking name. My name is Alvin Fwang. Well, okay, maybe something's a little more class. Like Alvin Fwang. Right. Alvin Flang. His fucking, this goddamn dog's name is Alvin Flang. I thought, was, I would have went with Reginald Conroy. Well, she has her ideas for a fucking, you know, name. Let's say Reginald. What are you, crazy? You are particular. Then they kind of settle on Prince, you know, oh, like, shit. you know, he's a prince. <gasps> Why don't we call you Prince? That's what I'll do. I'm gonna call you Prince. Uh, you mean like the artist formerly known as? He's not really a prince, he's some dickbag named Alan Flang. But right, who fucked up at some point in life? We'll, I guess we'll get into some of that in a little bit later. Should we? So blah blah fucking blah. We, so what are we gonna call him? Prince now? Alvin? Flang? Alvin Whatever, it doesn't Flang. matter. The dog is watching Lisa change. And two. I'm gonna oh yeah, dude! The fucking Lisa's house is green as fuck! Everything's oh, green! Jesus. Green, green, green! Her car is green! Her dress is green! Her, her fucking drawer is green! The wall is green! Me. The lava lamp green! Green! I don't know what happened. Tom green! Everything's green. Al green! Al green in there? Jesus lord. What are you looking at? Not much. So anyway, she's like trying to pick out. Ah, uh, uh, the fuck! <laughs> She's trying to pick out outfits. Green. And, but Alan, Alvin, Alvin, Flag, Prince, Dog, whatever, like, helps her? Maybe you should wear more green. <sighs> Go away. Okay, let's see. <sighs> no. Hmm. Oh my god. I thought dogs were colorblind. You're special. Guess? And then the manager freaked out. No, 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 no. We're not that far yet because... Uh, were they in the store? No, you? no, no, no. Because Elvin answers the fucking phone in her apartment, like takes her the phone, and it's her mother, hey, and she has the breast answer. cancer. Mom, I can't talk. But you got a boyfriend. No, it's just a date. But what's he like? Mom, I'm late. <laughs> she doesn't have the breast cancer, but it, it has take, like filling of the room to it like this it, movie it does, fucking it does. It does feel like the room a lot in this. So she asked him to be her new roommate or whatever? How about being my roommate? Huh? Okay, you pay the rent and I'll sniff my butt. So yeah, uh, Alvin is moving in. This movie exhausted you. So, well, it's really exhausting me because I kind of just did it in, like, the wrong order. Some of those scenes were not in the order that they happened in the movie because my brain is a big jumbled mess after this movie. That's a big jumbled fucking mess. Hey, that one's green. I can't afford it. Unless 
you're buying. I'd rather kill myself. Speaking of double best, we cut to big sale! Huge sale, huge sale! Three dollars, two dollars, huge sale, huge sale! Fucking these people in this store, and it's a big fucking sale, yeah. and Alvin's all getting his fucking nose and shit, all of this stuff. You know, dudes yelling, big sale, and people are all rah, 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 and then somebody kicks Alvin, and Lisa fucking oh, not having it. That was fun! <laughs> Why did you kick my dog? is ruining my clothes. He's helping me pick out clothes. Yeah, right. You really know how to lie. Prince, help me find a skirt to go with this. If you ruin anything, you will be paying for it. Come on, Prince, do it. Yeah, I had to keep my dog. But now is whenever Elvin fucking picks out her outfit and people applaud. Everybody's like, yeah. Hey, this one's also tacky. <laughs> this should do it. And then as Lisa and Elvin are leaving, a dog talent agent comes up and wants, you know, to represent a dog Elvin. dog talent agent. Here. Just so happened to be in that store. Miss, miss, pardon me, miss. I'm a talent agent, and I think your dog's amazing. Your dog could make a lot of money. Yeah. I think it's... I, come on. My secretary will be in touch. Give me a call, okay? We'll do lunch. But they just fucking leave. See, no, I will not put my dog in dog porn. You think there's dog porn? I don't, dude, I don't even want to fucking think about that. <laughs> so, Google's like, yes, there is dog porn. Here's anyway. 10,000 sites. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, right? So we now cut to Lisa at work whenever oh, fucking Kmart oh. Kevin Sorbo comes over and sexually Kevin harasses Sorbo. her. Oh, shit. Lisa, don't move. I think there's a spider on your back. Here. Maybe. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to hurt you. Oh, I thought you were right. I mean, it's my one sore He's all like, like don't like, oh. move. <laughs> <laughs> he said there's a spider on your back. <laughs> so not only is there one creepiness, we get this oh, other Lord. creepiness. This fucking customer Frank comes in and wants to buy a dress for his wife or whatever. This is just some creepy creepiness. Uh, you're uh, Lisa. Yes, I am. Uh, do you need something for your wife? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's all creepy, creepy. Then. She likes what you like. Okay, um, what color and style does she like? Whatever you like. She's your size. What size? Uh, she's exactly your size. Okay, um, <clears throat> hmm. Whatever you like. Thank you, sir. See you soon. See you soon, Lisa. <laughs> but I like how Sorbo comes back to offer her a dress. Well, yeah. Instead of peas. Sorbo does come over and tries to give her a green fucking dress. I would like for you to take this. No, thanks. You need to look good for the customers. I'm the manager, and I insist. Okay. He's like, you need to look good for customers. You know, so she did take it and put it on, and I think she was at home, right, when she put it on? When her friend, the mother's friend, this... Gypsy? Rita comes oh, in. She switches accents. I can't tell. I can't They'll put a bead on where she's from. These are for you. Congratulations. Frank really fell hard for you. Frank? Not another Who's one. Frank? And then she starts telling Lisa about how she kind of sent the creep there, or she knows the creep, Frank, whatever. Frank! 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 Frank. Middle-aged men come to store today? You know, buy dresses. He said they were for his wife. Oh, that's only his cover. He say he fell in love with you at first sight and wants to marry you. Don't be silly, Rita. It's true. Mommy? Mommy? Frank? <laughs> oh, I'll never get Frank out of my head. God damn it. I don't need to be fixed up, particularly with the stranger. No, not stranger. He is my neighbor's high school friend's co-worker. Frank talked to high school friend, talked to my neighbor, talked to me, and I thought of you. Fuck you, Frank. And anyway, she wants to make... Wow, that was a meat sandwich. My meat, my meat, my meat, my meat. So she wants Lisa to call Frank. Frank. Listen, he is good enough for you. Here? It's his phone number. You call him. That's it. Sweetie, 
I do this for your mother. If not for L.A. Smog, she'd be here herself help you find man. I don't need help. Only time will tell. Oh, yeah. I'm only going to mention this about four or five thousand times oh, through okay. the rest of this review. Because remember, we're still in the first 13 minutes of this oh, fucking movie. Shit. Whenever it cuts to a silent shot of ducks on the water. And I'm like, Ron Coots. It just turned into a goddamn Ron Coots fucking movie. God damn. Yeah, well, she was like, how do I do filler? I know. We'll look to Ron Coots, because nobody can we'll do boring-ass filler like Ron we'll fucking Coots. We'll do some goat goats. Goat <laughs> ducks. <laughs> we'll do some goats. I don't know what we'll... <laughs> So, anyway... Everybody looks strange, and I'm like, look, I need goats. We cut, we cut to Lisa in a homemade heart-shaped bed that's <laughs> all fucked up looking and cattywampus, and every Catty time you wampus. see it, it's all, like, crooked and just... It's the shittiest fucking heart-shaped bed I've ever fucking seen. Happy Valentine's Day, people. Yep, yeah, it looks like it would collapse. But she's sleeping in that fucking bed. She's a virgin sleeping in a heart-shaped bed. And Elvin is out in the living room, like, thinking to himself, and bitching about his fucking life. I have a serious problem. If she marries one of those guys, I will be a dog forever. <laughs> FOREVER! Stop barking! I'm trying to sleep! Because he's just a stupid mangy dog. <laughs> and then we cut to a high speed montage of like her changing, silent as fuck! Ugh, I'm exhausted. We should call the Wambulance. And it's just, you're like, I was there supposed to be music here? From what I understand, I did try looking up some stuff about this movie, and the only thing I found was because of this other YouTuber that I've never watched a video of, Ralph the Mute Movie Maker, yeah. did a fucking thing, and some people started doing some research. What, what, where was I going with this? Oh, yeah, the I music. Oh, oh. Then I guess there is, like, a DVD version that has music, but even the Amazon version, which you can pay to watch, I guess, right now, has no music. So, anyway, moving on from fucking that. Okay. So we cut... Probably blah blah fucking blah. I don't fucking know. This movie's such a jumbled fucking mess that Lisa sitting in her baseball chair, mint, mint chair, mint. I think, when her think, mom yeah. fucking calls her from the darkness to talk about Lisa dating two guys. I hear that you're dating two guys at the same time. So what? What I mean is... And then Mom goes deep. Well, she's dark. like, well, she goes, you should be dating four or five. You should date four or five guys at the same time, not just two. Mom goes DP. <laughs> Triple. She went quadruple. She will fuck. Mama's like, oh, you should do six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Get a whole train going on you. You know, it's like, wow, Mom. Jesus. And then we fucking jump cut. To Lisa on a date with Frank, Frank and Frank's Frank. mommy! Mommy! <laughs> Lisa, how much do you weigh? Um, I, I haven't weighed lately. What? You mean you don't weigh yourself at least twice daily? Well, how else would you know how much food to eat? And dude, this is some awkward ass <laughs> shit, man. I mean, some awkward ass fucking shit. My mother was a gynecologist and. She has a PhD in nutrition. She keeps us on a strict but balanced diet. It's, it's good for us. Right, Mother? Of course. Oh, I, I see. So, it cuts from that to them all at Frank's mother's house, Frank's house. Yeah. And she's all talking about Frank, I guess, has a kid. He, a right. wonderkind. A wonderkind. Because, you know, this kid is going to be the shit. Lisa, my grandson is only 10 years old. And we are very anxious to find a stepmother for him. I've heard that you love children. Yes, I do. This child has been raised using the latest scientific technology in nutrition, education, and psychology. He has an IQ of 170. Wow, what a smart child. Of course. And to be certain that he grows up to become president of the United States, we must ask a specific request to any prospective stepmother. He's even going to be president of the fucking United He's States. He's going to be the shit. And because of this, right. Frank and Mommy don't want the 
person that's going to marry Frank to have their own kids for some fucking reason. Here's this crazy fuckingness. We must ask a specific request to any prospective stepmother. She cannot have any children of her own. No children? Yes. Furthermore, in order for her to not become pregnant, she must agree to have her tubes tied before the marriage. It's a very simple procedure. I've done it for thousands of women. And which one looks more like fucking Gollum? All of them? No, her or Gollum. her? All of them. <laughs> oh yeah, so... Remember how she was dating two guys? Well, I guess we finally get to meet the second guy. It's a great picture. Yeah, it's actually a um, Chinese artist couple named Lian and Di Run Lu, and their work's being auctioned at Sotheby's. When he comes over to her apartment, her green-ass fucking apartment, and proposes to her. You know, I adore you. You're so sweet, pure, honest. Will you marry me? But not just your typical don't, proposition. Don't, so don't, don't he wants her to be his fucking beard. It would be a name only. Name only. After we're married, you'll still be free. You, you can date anyone you want. I, I mean, you can sleep with anyone you like. No. What I'm, I, I don't mean to be rude, but I'm not physically attracted to you. No. I'm sorry. What I mean is, I'm not attracted to any woman. All my relationships are with men. You're... Yes. Then why do you want to marry me? Kmart George Takai comes in, and he's like, Hey, I want you to, you know, have my kid and everything. But we won't fuck her or anything. She was like, she was, she was, well, I mean, like, I don't know, was she into it at first and then not? And then she was like, nah. Oh, well, this is the longest scene so far up to this point in this fucking movie because this goes on forever. And here's some dramatic acting. Lisa. Will you marry me and give me a child? Don't worry, I, I won't touch you. We'll go to a hospital, we'll have artificial insemination. And Lisa, I would take the best care of you. Anything you want, everything you need, furs, diamonds, any luxury for the rest of your life. Whenever he said he was gay, like I had George the guy's head goes to my head go, oh bye. <laughs> so blah blah fucking blah. Kevin <laughs> You know what, at one point you're just gonna rip your skin off and be like <laughs> I'll be like that dude from fucking Nightbreed. Be like, You wanna see my true face? <laughs> from V. So anyway, well, well, fuck you. What I was saying is, blah, blah, fucky, blah, Kmart Kevin Sorbo comes busting into the greenhouse. Yep. Mort, what are you doing here? And, you know, he's all fucking awfully drunk. Lisa, I have no more patience. Yeah. And he's all professing his love At first, to Gollum, Lisa. I shameless to hear Frank Gallagher, yeah. yeah. To hear him talk. I have to tell you. What? I love you. I love you so much. I know, I know. I'm a married man. But I don't have a sex life for years. My wife doesn't turn me on anymore. And it's not safe to see a hooker. And I... I want you. So he's chasing her around and gets her on the chair and shit. And he tries fucking taking it right. when Prince comes busting in and saves her ass. Back off. She's mine. <laughs> you will be a chihuahua. And then Sorbo fires her. You're fired. I quit. She's like, I quit. And while... She's collapsing from the whole situation. Fling, or Flang, whatever, is sitting there doing his little thing. Yeah, he's, he's celebrating thing. this. Yes. Now I'm the king of the castle. 
king of the castle. King of the castle that's also a dog and lives in a house that is green. What is that about? I mean, dude, do you not realize that she's having a moment on the couch? It's golden time. Gay. Why is he gay? Why is Kyle gay? I gotta make my move. Kyle gay. No. No way. <laughs> Damn dog. Whoa, she's definitely having a moment because blah blah fucking blah. She goes into the bathroom, looks in the mirror, takes some pills, and has audible fucking flashbacks and fucking loses her shit. Yeah. Do it for me. Do it for me. Get married, get married. I beg you. Tubes tied before the marriage. Yes, mother. Yes, mother. I want you. I want you. <laughs> And, like, you're thinking, holy shit, she's gonna go, like, cat on the now, you know, wake up all freaked well, out. Well, she does more fucking pills, and Alan, Alvin, now. runs Alvin. out, Alvin. runs out to get help. By get help, I mean he lays down on the road. What am I doing? I'm risking my life for green pants. And then, by chance, somebody fucking runs up, follows him into the apartment, and calls help. Right. Miss! Miss! Yes, 911. I have a woman here passed out in her residence. She better get well, or I'm gonna have to start all over again. But she must get fixed up pretty quick because it just all black over. cuts yep. right to fucking Elvin, you know, living on the fucking street, singing another fucking dog song. <laughs> Living on the street is hard and also it hurts my feet Cause I'm a dog and it hurts my feet when it's hot outside cause I'm a dog There was a lot of dog songs there, so many I can't count So like yeah. I said, it's and like, I you know I don't want to get trapped into my head so. Moments later, Lisa's running around at night looking for fucking Alvin in the rain Right, the CGI rain, it don't seem to ever touch you one shot ahead of the rest. There you are. You brought me an umbrella. Mm-hmm. You saved my life. She swears off fucking men after she finds them. From now on, no more men. Go. I'm gonna stay with you. Only you. We'll live together forever. She's like, no more men. Just you and your little red rocket will do. And then he turns into a naked human with the orbits. I shabang! You! Who are you? Prince. Prince. Prince, your dog. Lisa? Oh, yeah. Prince. It's Prince. Lisa. As he passes out? Yeah, well, well, passes out, but then he wakes her back up again. Lisa. Lisa, wake up. Lisa. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. It's really me, your dog. Yeah, and then he gives his backstory, He's which like, maybe no, 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 no. like we're, the scene's not over. Well, yeah, he gives her his backstory about being a playboy and whatnot. In my past life, I was punished for being a cheating playboy. I was cursed to live as a dog. But maybe they should have gave us a backstory before we just see him and the things going. I'm a dog. Woof woof woof. I'm a dog. Woof woof woof. Yeah. And he wants girls. And then he like this straight up fucking proposes to her. I will always love you. I will take care of you. I will protect you. Lisa. Let me be your husband. Please. Right, right. He, well, he's like, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I just met you, but I love you. She thanks God. God, thanks for answering my prayer. Yes. And then, and then she just makes up her own rules. She's just like, you're my husband now. You're my husband. That's not how it works. <laughs> yeah, for real. You can't just say that and it's done. So we cut back to the greenhouse where Alvin, <laughs> I keep wanting to call him Alan. Alan, like fucking, Alan. like goddamn Jurassic Park, Park 3. 3 yeah. Alan. Alan. But anyway, Elvin is in the bathroom looking at himself naked, like standing up on his fucking shit to see his fucking ass. Yeah, you liked that part though. That was your that was your happy part. And then we cut to Elvin and Lisa fucking. Were they? 
Well, we don't actually see them fucking, but right. that's what happened. Ah. Because it cuts to the next morning, and Elvin's a dog again. No! No! I love this scene. My she hops out and goes, it's a dog. Dog. And he, he hops he, out of bed. He, he, he transports cut. himself to the, the pond, pond orbits, to where, he, orbits. where he tells them to fucking do. Till you learn true love, you can only be a man at night. During the day, you're a dog. At night, you're a human. What a specific curse. And I'd be like, Why? Who fucking knows? Because he was a playboy once? Right, I guess. But, I, but, but if I was him, I'd be like, who? why can nobody see the floating orbits yeah, by the pond? Know. You know, nobody sees this shit. And then it just, blue cuts back to, it's <laughs> night again, and Alvin's a human again. Prince. They mostly call him Prince. Right. And he explains, you know, the whole fucking but at night get day. Broken. We'll get into them breaking her own rules, because yes, that does fucking happen. It is only when the sun shines that I'm a dog. That's all. <sighs> Lisa. Lisa. If you truly love me, for me, as I am, like this, be with you forever. But if you don't, then I could go back to being a dog. No. No, I can't do that. So, whatever. Ugh. We cut to the next day where Lisa goes to work, you know, she's having her day. Right. And Flang is, you know, doing his fucking thing, probably just hanging out with his balls. <laughs> All day. Wow, I had such a long day, honey. Long day. Cannot wait to be human to tell you about it. So and then we cut to Lisa Thank after you. work. I, oh yeah, fuck yeah, dude. If I was, if that was my thing all day long, I'd be. Nom, 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 nom. If I was a cat, I'd fucking have my leg up like they, you know, they do that gymnastic yeah. thing where they pull their leg up like this and go ole. They just go to town on their fucking ass. <laughs> I mean, dude, cats have no shame, man. They just sit there and lick their leg. Like, I can go up my thigh. Watch this. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, we cut to the, a morning where they're having breakfast together. Prince, breakfast is ready. Finally, we can sit down and have a meal together. That's my dream. Okay. Dig in. <laughs> Come on, eat. <laughs> Why aren't you eating? Alvin being a fucking dog wants dog food, and Lisa's reaction to that is fucking amazing. <laughs> you want dog food? Yeah, I'm a dog now. Genius. <laughs> <laughs> you want dog food? Ha <laughs> ha! Fuck you then, I'll sit over here and eat my steak and eggs on rye. But I, I love the personality change, how during the day he's goofy comedy like Kmart dog, Seth yeah. Rogen dog. At night he's brooding dummy dog, you know, like... Well, or, yeah, or he's like, you know, yeah, but he's all, I love you, Lisa, 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 times 10,000, Lisa. Well, I guess they can be kind of romantic because it cuts to a dead silent dating and duck montage. Dead fucking silent. Yep. Whatever. Add your own music. There's a few yeah. times during this movie we thought the movie <coughs> broke or whatever. We're like, wait a minute. It should dead. have a thing that flashes <laughs> like, add music here. Blah, blah, fucking blah. We'll we take music from Rock and the Alien and put it there. No, we won't. Because my love is true. Okay, maybe, maybe we will take that fucking song and put it to this fucking dating duck montage here. Oh. Yes. 
<laughs> okay, so Cause anyway. I love ducks. Blah, 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 fucking blah. Who gives fucks? <laughs> God damn it. Blah, blah, fucking Sorry. blah. I lost what I was saying and it doesn't fucking matter. Oh yeah, blah, blah, fucking blah. We cut to sex tape filming. Awesome. And I guess this is supposed to be their wedding night because she's wearing the veil, I guess. Hey, is that what it's supposed to be? I don't know, this movie doesn't really let you in on a whole lot of things. They're just like, cut, 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 end. And then, blah, it cuts to Alan talking to the fucking Orbitz Pond lady Orbitz. again. Right. Seems you are happy. No, I'm not. I want to be full-time human. Be responsible. You need to learn to be a husband and provide for a wife. You know, and she's confusing the piss out of him, us, Everyone, Ugh. what do you want, Orbits? What do you want, Pond Orbits? Who fucking knows, Because we dude. need to know. Because as far as I'm concerned, you know... Oh, Blaine no, wait a minute. Done everything that was do. not their fucking wedding night, because they're not fucking married. Oh, that, that's right. They didn't really... <laughs> Just because Lisa said, you're my husband now, does not mean they're fucking married. So anyway... <laughs> Blah, blah, fucking blah. Lisa and goddamn Elvin have a fucking picnic. What could I get special for you? What's wrong? Are you sick? Back off. No, you're fine. Come on, it's your favorite. It's chopped liver. And Lisa's all fucking in a bad goddamn mood. What is wrong with you? I'm in a bad mood. Don't make it worse. Why are you treating me like this? So she's yelling at him, and it's funny because like she is at a probably at like an open park and shit. They probably even ask permission. Yeah, to oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's just sitting there yelling at this dog. What's your problem? <laughs> what are you doing this to me for? And then Jimmy Dump it jumps right to fucking night when they have a discussion about being married. But you're not fucking married, Lisa. I'm your husband, right? Well, then I should be able to take care of my wife, right? How? By jumping through hoops? No, listen. Commercials. Look. TV shows. Remember the agent? No way. You're my husband, a human. I don't want anybody to treat you like a dog. He's like, I want... He's trying to say something in his caveman voice, even though during the day as a dog, he talks perfectly fine. At night, he's like, TV, I what, think that, what be on TV? I think that's just the actor, dude. Commercial TV. <laughs> I, don't on. Think that's his, I don't think that's his character. I think that's the actor just being fucking the actor. Who smudged his face and put that horrible wig on him. <laughs> you know? So blah, blah, fucking blah, blah, Elvin. Flang and Lisa shower Flag. together. Flang TV on dog and, TV. And he gets because because Flang is getting ready to go to the dog talent agency because he needs a job or whatever. But he gets there and you know he misses. It doesn't fucking matter. He does not meet up with a talent agent that fucking day. No, but he does eventually. Yeah. And who cares? Yeah, kinda. Because it, it doesn't fucking matter. Don't think you go through this whole dog's day. It was dumb. Okay, fine. We'll just skip ahead to some other time in the fucking future. He's at that dog talent agent waiting for the dog food lady to come in. Because the lady with the too tight dress is a dog food fucking lady for some fucking reason. And she's all excited to meet the dog, sir. There he is. Hold my calls. Such a pleasure to meet you. Oh, look, look. Come here, oh. this is Mary. Very nice to meet you, sir. Terrific. Okay, come here, come oh, here. Okay. What the flag? Fuck. And then they test him with colors of phones. I want to ask him to pick up the red telephone. Okay. Here's the test. Pick up the red telephone. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, all right. Yeah, all right. Have him pick up the indigo telephone. Okay, the indigo telephone. All right. Okay. Pick up... The indigo telephone. And then Al Alvin's like, who the fuck says indigo? What kind of world am I in? Who says <gasps> indigo? What kind of planet am I on? You're higher? Oh. Exactly. What world am I fucking on? Oh, well, you're, you're in, you are in the worst Twilight Zone episode ever. <laughs> So blah, blah, fucking blah, Lisa's watching TV and she finds out that Elvin Prince has a fucking job. Prince, is that you? It's time for you to know. Where are you going? I fight crime with ninjas. Is that how you got hurt? Oh 
my god, I have misjudged you. Like, yeah. Because he had money and shit like Well, this, he, he, he brings like, out the money and he's like, Hey, don't <gasps> spend it all on green clothing. Is this where the money from the dress came from? Hell yeah. And when you're in a relationship, you never mention money around your woman because right away she wants to know where it came from, how you got it, and how much she's getting. <laughs> So blah blah fucking blah, Elvin and Lisa are close to having sex when Paula interrupts. Who is it? It's me, Paula. What do you want? What do you think? I need to come in. I know, like, maybe not have your bed right by the door. Yeah, but also, you know, it doesn't fucking matter. She comes in wanting to stay the night. My car broke down. I need to stay here tonight. You want to stay here tonight? Yeah. What else is new? And she's saying, uh, yeah. Well, she and was, Alvin's hiding. She was apparently having a fat attack. And then she finds Alvin. What's going on? <laughs> Come on. What's up? Mm. Ooh. You're acting so weird. <laughs> And then, you know, she's super fucking pissed about it. Paula, let me explain, please. Explain <laughs> what? Well, you know, I don't even want to know. Like, way too fucking pissed about it. Come on, here I thought you were. You were this, this true virgin with all these high principles, but clearly you're not. Like, even more pissed about like, it. You know, you always made me feel so bad about all this, all this high and mighty this virgin stuff all these years and you're just a hypocrite no. you just no. you're just a hypocrite lisa you know forget it forget it paula paula way pissed about it it's like wait were you guys like like together at one point is that why you're so upset because you were hoping you were going to be able to like deflower uh, it know? doesn't matter lisa dude. Lisa, 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 Lisa. It doesn't matter, dude. It, it does not matter. matter. It will never matter. Because blah, blah, fucking blah. Lisa, Rita, and her mother go to this <laughs> fucking... Lisa, Rita, and her mother. Go to this restaurant for, like, dancing and whatnot. Honey, that dress looks so beautiful on you. Thank it's you. It's a perfect fit. Yeah. Very pretty. Would you like to dance with me? Oh, no. No, sweetie, dance. You'll have a good time. Please, go ahead. I'd love to see you dance. So Lisa's out there dancing, and all these men like are like she really like, to, all over. She didn't even get to sit, like look at the menu, and all of a sudden dudes were getting picking her up like. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And we find out why because Rita paid the dudes to dance with her. Come on, dance with me. No, she had the most fun. Stop! 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 Wait! What? I, she said she paid you to dance with me? Yes. yes. You really did this, didn't you? Yes. I only did it though for you poor, sweet mother. Rita said you refused to date anyone, so we planned this to help you. What is such, what is the big deal? Like, why? Is the mother and Rita in such a panic to get her married? I don't fucking know, dude, because we get some dramatic acting. Lisa, you never had a father. So many men came and went, and none of them ever treated me right. You grew up seeing all that. I know that's what made you suspicious of men. Mom, no! It's just the opposite. Because of that, I decided early that I would choose a husband for a life of mutual commitment. Oh, that's great. Oh, honey, that's so great. The mother's acting like, you know, a mama warbucks. Lisa, <laughs> Lisa goes out to the car and her and her mother talk about men and what fucking not. Well, she said, I found someone. And they're like, ooh. Please forgive me. What would make me so happy be if you could find a good man, the right man. I found him. <gasps> what? <laughs> you didn't tell us? Oh my god. <gasps> when do we get to meet him? Okay, tomorrow night. <gasps> oh, how about in the morning? I have an, a plane booked in the afternoon. Oh, no, 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 no he, he's got to work in the morning. 
Okay, oh. I change reservations, make no problem. Like, oh, he's oh, <laughs> so happy. He's, like, he's, ha he's, a, he's, a, he's, he's a man bear pig or a dog. So okay. since, you know, they now know he's dating somebody, we cut to them at dinner. Dog man. And it's fucking bizarre. <laughs> yeah. They're eating like uh, this, and they're so. fucking talking about, you know, marriage and stuff. You will take good care of her. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Like love, honor, and cherish. Love, honor, and cherish, absolutely. And right. it's like, when they start grilling them on, you know, things, you know, trying to prod them for information, you know, where do you work, what do you do, da, da, all that fucking do. bullshit. What is your job? I'm a He's cook. an investor. Do you make good income? So, Great. so. <clears throat> when are you two going to get married? <clears throat> How about tomorrow? You go and get license. Dog license. Oh. And then fucking so Lisa's mom, for whatever reason, you know, oh, because they're talking about marriage license and whatnot. And then Lisa's mom's are like, you know, your father left me, like, you know, abandoned me at the marriage you? license office. I hope that doesn't happen to you. When I was pregnant with you, your father was supposed to meet me at the license bureau. He never showed up. I'm sure. That's not going to happen to you? It was like, well, I wonder why he walked away from that screeching fucking attitude. That's what he wanted to wake up to every morning. So blah, blah, fucking blah, skipping over some fucking insane bullshit yeah. to Rita at the greenhouse interrogating Prince. Where do you work? Can I have business card? <laughs> what about bank book? I don't have one. Okay, driver's license. Don't tell me you don't have driver's license. <sighs> and then basically tell him, yo, get the fuck lost. Leave Lisa alone. You listen to me. You, I don't know where you come from, who you are. You leave Lisa alone. No, never. Listen. You know, I know there's something fishy about you. Handsome men like you with plain sales girl like Lisa. What's that? She taught me the meaning of love. She's like, you know, it, well, like he, he panicked right away. He should have kept his cool. You know, he should have backed Reed up. But now he let her thunder boobs push him all around his apartment, basically. Well, then he r he runs out. And, you know, we get this solid high-speed chase montage thing. Until he runs into the bathroom with a tail. And then, you know, Rita's right behind him. She opens up the door. Out comes the dog. dog. And then, bloop, it cuts right to Lisa at work. And Rita's telling her about how he turned into a dog and whatnot. You saw him turn into a dog? Yes. Oh my god, help me. Right, and how- But you didn't see it, I mean, and that's the only thing that could have happened, but they didn't- Oh, not really change into dog. Oh, so you didn't actually see him turn into a dog. Yes, I mean no. I mean it's the only way to explain it. Well, anyway, so she tells him, like, well, I told him to get lost and everything. So Lisa freaks out, tells her, get out of her life. I say. Stay out of Lisa's life forever. What? You have no right to have done that. Please leave me alone. Do you mean that? Yes, I mean that. Get out of my life. Okay. Then your mom, she's out of your life too. And she's like, if I had gone, your mother gone too. And I'm like, why? Well, who are you to the mother? You know, are you the power of attorney? I don't understand what's going on here. Like, you were just a friend, but now you're working for the mother. Who fucking does? Blah, blah, fucking blah. Prince is walking down the road singing a song. I'm a dog. I'm a dog and I don't know where to go. I have no one to call my own. 
I will never make my goal. No, I'll never make my goal. Cause I'm a dog, I'm a dog, I'm a dog. I'm all alone. I'm a dog in a really stupid movie. I'm a dog. And then we cut to Lisa in this park, right? right? And she's just like hanging around in this fucking kid's park for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. When his family notices her and wants her to take their picture. Miss, can you take our picture? And then Lisa's all creepy to the kids for a little bit. How old are they? How old are you? Five. Five? How old are you? Ten. One. You're so precious. What's your secret? And then the mother leans over and whispers something into her fucking ear. <laughs> I'll see you later, guys. Say thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> fucking bizarre. And then it fucking jump cuts to Lisa ride, um, wanting to ride that goddamn dick in the V-dub. Right, 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 right. And then she tells the secret. Today, uh -huh. a Chinese woman yeah. told me a secret. She said exciting sex will produce excellent kids. What? Kids? Amazing sex leads to amazing babies. I want babies. And fucking Flang ain't down with that because, because he doesn't want a puppy, half puppy, man, bear, hybrid, dog. Hybrid thing. Lisa. Lisa, I'm afraid. Afraid of what? I'm afraid that the kids will end up like me. That's what I want. Handsome and smart. No, you don't understand. I'm afraid that they'll end up like me. You know, it's like <laughs> something that comes out a little Kill like me. Right, right. You know, so he's being logical about this. She's being a typical woman, not thinking anything through. It just right, 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 Well right, dude, right, she's right. going crazy, like chasing after him, going up all going all baby crazy. Lisa. Yeah, let's have a kid. Now's the perfect time. We can't have a kid. Oh, why not? You can't be a full-time husband. At least you could give me a wonderful boy like you. No, no, no. Baby crazy. When they go baby crazy, you're fucked. So blah, blah, fuck it, blah. We're skipping over some more shit to when Flang shows Lisa Fine. these tickets for like this Chinese art thing. Thing. Chinese rare stones. They're like ancient fossils in these old stones. Today, tomorrow's your day off. Can we, can we go take a look at it? But so they try to go. During the day. So they try to go. Him as a dog. Right. Her as a golem. And the security <laughs> guard silently won't let him in. Oh yeah. Dogs don't know how to enjoy the Chinese arts. Thanks a lot. So as like, oh yeah, and I love how quickly that ends. At night, this was his big plan, and I'm sure he went to bed thinking, oh okay, this is awesome. You know, we're gonna get up, we're gonna go to the art museum, and how quick this scene ends. You know, he gets there and he's just like, oh yeah, dogs can't go to the museum. But he's back to his Seth Rogen yeah, 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 yeah. voice. Oh yeah, staring at the parking lot. That's entertaining. And then she's inside looking at this couple that's silent as fuck because there's no sound here either. And then, you know, she finally leaves this gallery and sees Flang fighting with other dogs over oh food. And God. these dogs are talking as well. Right. Stop it, man. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. going to the museum would cheer her up. Okay, so now this is where the movie changes its own fucking rules. Because it Lisa, Lisa figures that if it's cloudy, then... Flying should be able to go out here. If the sun's not shining, you won't become a dog, right? Yeah, that's the rule. But, but Lisa, since I've become a man, every day's been sunny. Come on, look, 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 look. It's cloudy. If Rena's predicted tomorrow, you can come to my boss's party with me. He should, you, no, you'd be okay. able to be human. Like, but wait, anyway, she wants him to go to her new boss's fucking party so she can get a management position. I just really want you to meet my boss so I can make a good impression. I want to get promoted. This is my only chance to become department manager. 
please help me reach my goal? So, they don't say new boss. I thought it was going to be Sorbo, but it fucking right. wasn't. Right, it was Sorbo. We, you know, I, we forgot he was, you never, you're fired. Did you yeah. I quit. So, anyway, she goes to said dinner party, yeah. and they fucking talk, and boring, boring, blah. I didn't know that your husband was so handsome. Isn't he handsome, darling? Yes, he is handsome and well-mannered. He must come from an educated family. Sam, you need to learn from Prince. He's like, I have many cavities. Enough that I was going to take my wife out to dinner in the Himalayas. And he said something about his kids being lazy or some bullshit. Lisa, you know I started the business from nothing. But now we have more than five stores. But the family doesn't seem interested in that. Well, he's like, I have five stores, but my family don't want anything to do with that. No, they'll just collect and, the and money. And she's like, I want to be a doctor. And the kid's like, I want to be a movie star. Well, maybe you shouldn't have been in this movie, kid, because you're going to be ruined for fucking life. Life. Dad, I'm a medical doctor. I want to be a movie star. See, Lisa? I want to promote you and some other guys at the store to become managers so that I can retire and take my wife on a trip around the world. That's a great idea. What do you think, Lisa? I think that's excellent. Mm -hmm. But so anyway, Alvin is hanging out with the sun at this table, sitting in the fucking sun. In like, the, blatantly in the in fucking the sun. sun. For like 30 seconds Alvin, before more. the orbits finally fucking fall from the sky and he turns into a dog in front of everybody. In front of him. Dad, Prince just became a dog. Big deal. I'm Alvin Schwein. <laughs> All of a sudden, he the just sun jumps into the fucking the pool. The sun just so happens to forget what the hell his name was and goes, Hey, Precious turned into a dog. So yeah, Lisa's in the fucking pool and she can't swim and Elvin's saving her while fucking bitching about it. How oh, stupid. What kind of idiot doesn't know how to swim? You made me lose face in front of everyone and now you want me to save you? It's not fair. It's not fair at all. All right, grab on, you pizza face cinder block. Yeah, pizza face. <laughs> right, and you're like, what the fuck? This does not sound like the elven we know. The human elven's good. The dog's a dick. So, blah, blah, fucking blah, human acting dramatic scene. Then you have to accept me for who I am. <laughs> like this. <laughs> and then they fucking smush face kiss. What? It, what, I, what? He's a dog? No. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I wish that would have happened though. Like right, it, like right while they were like getting down, he turns to dog. So. While he's in her. <laughs> Moving on from that. We cut to Flang going outside because, you know, he's you know, decided he wants to be a dog full time so Lisa can have a good husband and kids. Oh, the best decision I've ever made. I mean, that's water cooler stuff right there. Dude, guess what? <laughs> oh, Elvin and Lisa were having sex and the sun came out. Oh, shit. And then it cuts to Alvin singing a fucking song. Running down the street away from my troubles. Gotta get out of this place. Gotta find a way to get away from this place. Cause I'm a dog now. And then talking to the pond lady again. Stop playing with me, okay? I did everything you said. Gave everything I could. No more lessons. No more rules. No. No. No! Not enough. True love is sacrificed. The responsibility to be patient. You better learn that. Fuck pawn lady. She don't know what she wants either. Every relationship has a problem. Work it out. It's the only way. And then Elvin has a flashback <laughs> montage. I don't want to see that! I don't want to hear it! I don't want to see this. I don't want to hear this. I don't want to see this. I don't want to hear this. I don't want to see it. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to see it. I don't want to hear it. 
Well, we I, ain't hearing it. I love but... when Orbit's pawn says, you need to learn responsibility. I'm like, bitch, I can only come <laughs> alive at night. Banks are open to the I become human at night. But I can't get a checking account or ID or anything else. Okay, so, Alvin realizes his love of Lisa. How stupid am I? I love her. I really do. I love her. So he ru he's running home to fucking Lisa, right? You know, we get that shot of her like, ah, oh, and him like, ah. Oh. So he fucking crosses the street and gets hit by a fucking car. And I was like, oh, yes. yes. I'm back. I, this is the way it should end. End now and forever hold your And then he fucking <laughs> dies on the street. I really love you, honey. And Lisa cries for fucking ever. Right, because that was her dog love. And ever. Right. And ever. And then it cuts to Lisa's dying mother in bed I and guess. Rita telling Lisa to forget about Prince. Yeah. Precious. Yeah. Whatever. Marry someone else. Please, Lisa. Swear to God that you will. Lisa, say it. Say it for your mother. No. No. I won't lie. He is the only one I've ever loved. Mom, I truly believe he'll come back. <sighs> and then uh, she's like, no, fuck you, Mom. I'm out. And then we cut to a silent, sad montage. And then we get many years later. Yeah, it cuts to many years many, later. Many years later. Where Lisa is trying to rent out her apartment. Right. When Paula and her 50 kids come over to look at the place. Lisa? I, I saw an ad for rent. I came to see the apartment. I'm so surprised you're still here. Come on. Go, go in, guys. Go in. Go on. Grandma, Grandma, my sister Gray. <laughs> you're a grandmother. Yeah. Met a guy who swept me off my feet. He's like got the fake gray hair. I kicking. love the fact she. I saw the place for a rent. I'm like, you got 90 kids. Where the hell are you gonna put them in this fucking shoebox apartment? And for one, and you, you were there all the time. You stayed yeah. over. You were friends, and you're acting like you never knew what this was before. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. It doesn't fucking matter because it cuts Stop to them that. at night. Looking through photo albums and reminiscing and talking about Prince. You still wait for Prince? Yes. But I learned the truth about myself. I thought that all I wanted was unconditional love. But then I realized I wasn't giving that. What do you mean? And then you get this revelation horse shit. Yeah. Well, there's something about, like, you know, dying and being reborn. Because he said that. So I made a decision. If I believed in true love in this world, I'd struggle for it. And that would bring him back. So you ran the ad to remind him? <laughs> hmm. You know, Prince would be our age if he came back. Oh no, honey. His age would count from the the year that he died and was reborn. No. Yes. I never thought about it that way. Earlier, one point, yeah. It was like, I could be reborn, and we're like, where the fuck did you get it that was, from? It was all... I didn't hear Orbit say that. It was all just mixed into the gobbledygook that was this fucking movie. <laughs> well, did he visit Orbit that we God, weren't aware of? Fuck it. Those, dude. I can be reborn. <laughs> I'm 
boring. Lisa. I must die first, <laughs> but then I can be reborn. No, I don't want you to die. Because Lisa realizes she should have accepted Flang right. for who he really was. So she fucked up. If I truly loved him, I would have accepted him for the way he was instead of asking him to be somebody he could never be. So now, Flang is somewhere else, growing up rapidly. Uh, it doesn't matter because it cuts to the next morning where so, somebody comes to look at the apartment. Yeah. And it's Lo fucking... And behold, it's Flang. Flang. Lisa? Are you... Prince. It's Prince. <laughs> Young Flang. Yeah. Or something because, you know, they're talking. Somebody tell him to push his wig back. And then some orbits fucking falls from the sky and it turns them old. He's like, oh yeah, that's what I want. I'm like, you're an old hag now. I'm not, so I can just go and live my life. No, so he wanted that. Hag. He wanted that old golem hag. I have a dog training business, and naturally, it's very successful. <laughs> I live a very comfortable life, but my heart was always empty. Something was always missing. Something was always missing. I knew it was you. It cuts to them getting married alone. There is right. nobody there. Not even a goddamn uh, you know, a, official. There. There's no goddamn official to fucking marry them. Well, maybe they don't need an official. They got orbits. Pond orbits is everywhere. We thought it was just at the pond, but no. Pond orbits. But it's fucking, is once again, silent as fuck. Right. That does some magic, and they turn young. Oh yeah, they, they both turn young. Silently. Silent young. And then it pops up, the end. Right. Credits start to roll, and we get the worst outtakes ever put on a movie. They're not funny. They're not informative. Not They're really fucking at all. You're nothing. Just kinda like, oh, They're just this okay. bullshit. Like, they don't even know how to do end credits right. Oh, so much. But this movie was so much fun. Was it? When we were watching it, yes. It, it, but after it was the hour and a half of the mental um, marathon that this movie was, and then us talking about it for God knows how fucking long. Yeah. Uh, it's Now like, you're hurt. A little bit. Like, you're it's a little like, hurt. But in retrospect, this movie is fucking amazing. If you can find it, when we filmed this, it was still on YouTube. It is Watch it. It, it, is, it is fucking... It is one of those movies that puts you in, like, a mental fog. Yeah, for, like, the, the rest of the day, yeah. So, I mean, it, like I said, it has flavors of the room. It has flavors of Birdemic. You know, it's got flatness to it. A little bit of flavor. On that note, I'm done talking about this. I gave myself a headache. Yeah. So for Gutter and Bird, this has been absolutely one of the, the worst movies on YouTube. We'll see you next week. I don't think anything's going to top this one, so no. be prepared for a slightly disappointing movie. Probably. <laughs> you never know. My, oh, my ass. Yeah, dude, it feels like we've been here forever. I'm sore as fuck, dude. It might. It oh. might. It might. Oh, oh, oh shit! You know we're old. Oh, oh, right? oh, oh fuck! Oh, shit! Oh, stretch your shit out. <laughs> God, oh. I'm, so, I'm so curious. I wonder how long we fucking oh, film yeah, this. Fucking we should be like for. donate to our Patreon so we can like get, get some prosthetic shit. knees, prosthetic knees and shit. It's time to choose, Frank or Kyle. Which one do you think? How can you do that? One of these tastes Japanesey.